Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. And uh, we're very close to Christmas. So first, happy Christmas. Have a fantastic time with your family, your friends. It's a nice time of the year that you get loads of presents, loads of food. But as well can be a little bit of stress with all those Christmas shopping and preparations. So today we're going to do a routine for the whole body. We're going to start on the ground. They're going to move into our arms to the standing poses. And at the end, we're going to have a relaxation that I think everybody needs today and in the next couple of days. So let's start with this Christmas spirit. So we're going to lie down on our back. And we're going to rest here. We're going to move our hands on the tummy. We're going to take a couple of breaths through the nose. And exhale through your mouth with that sensation of fog in a glass. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, breathe in and out. Just one more. Breathe in and out. Now we're going to close our mouth and we're going to breathe in and breathe out through the nose, but with that sensation that we just felt in the throat, which is the contraction of our epiglottis, to contract the epiglottis and have more control in the air in and out. So let's take a couple of breaths. Remember that the sound is still there, but it's very subtle. Let's breathe in. Breathe out through your nose. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose. Make it a longer breath in. Expand at the maximum your rib cage. Breathe out. Release all the air. And just one more. Breathe in. And breathe out. We're going to keep this deep and long breath during the whole class. Move your arms over your head, everybody. Push your heels away. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. And out. Now we're going to move the legs towards to the right corner of your mat and your hands towards to the right corner. So we make like a banana shape curving the spine and the body. We're going to feel lovely stretch here. So move to the right corners of your mat. We hold for four breaths. Breathe in and gently push your heels away to activate your leg muscles. Let's go for two more. Breathe in and out. Just one more. And back to the starting pose. Move your legs to the other side. So to the left corners, your feet and your arms. And we just stretch here for four. Breathe in. Breathe out. Push your heels away or point your toes away. Let's go for three. And out. And let's go for two. And just one more. Back to the starting pose. From here, we're going to lift the feet. We're going to squeeze the knees towards the tummy. Hold the legs with your arms. Relax your shoulders and your face. We're going to recline in child pose just to release our lower back. We hold here for four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three. And out. Let's go two. Releasing your lower back. And just one more. Now we're going to move our hands into our knees and we're going to make a circle with the knees, but let's go to the opposite direction. So we open our legs, we move them away, then together, and then towards to you. And we just make a big circle with the knees. Let's go for five, releasing our legs and our hips join. Let's go for four. And three, and two, and last one. Back to center, we change the direction, so we just go around. And let's go four, let's go three, and two, and just one more. Uh, we feel that loosening sensation in our hips. Drop your feet, everybody. Open your arms beside your shoulders, palms facing down. Cross your right leg over the left thigh and drop your knees towards the left side. And move your face opposite direction of your legs. We hold four breaths. Breathe in. 
and breathe out, relax your face. Let's go for the three. And out. And let's go for the two. And out. And just one more. And out. Back to the starting pose. We change our legs. Remember to these stretches are great for our spine, which is going to help us more if we have tension with all the stress of Christmas. Now move your face opposite direction of your legs. Let's hold four breath. Breathe in. And out. Let's go for the three, and out, and let's go two, out, and just one more, and back again to the starting pose, everybody. From here on, cross your legs, lift your feet, extend your legs towards the ceiling as far as good for you. Move your hands behind your head, lift the head, open your elbows, and we just hold here for four. And three. Two. And just one more. It feels good. Push your heels away. And bend your knees, hold your knees, keep the head up, and we're going to rock in backward and forward. Move on to the sitting pose. From the sitting pose, we swing the legs at the back, and we're going to move on to all fours. From all fours, we're just going to slide the right knee forward, but we're going to keep the toes curled under to stretch our toes. Because at the moment, we're walking a lot, we're doing lots of things to stand up maybe dancing as well, and our feet get very tight. And even funny enough, sometimes if our feet are tight, the lower leg's going to be tight. So we keep this time the toes curl under in both, and we just push our heels down, lift our chest, and stretch our tummy. We hold for four breaths. Breathe in, and out. Let's go for the three. And two. It feels really good in our feet. I know sometimes it's sore, but it's going to be very helpful. One more, everybody. Breathe in. And out. Gently, you're going to move back again onto all fours, and we're going to swap the legs. So the left knee, we keep the toes curled under, pushing the ground with your toes to stretch our feet. We just stretch our tummy here by lifting your chest. We hold four breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's go for three. And two. And the last one. Fantastic. It feels great. Now let's back again on two all four. Let's go on to the puppy. So we move our hands forward. We really feel our tailbone pushing backwards, but keep your hips above your knees to extend your back and your arms. Let the chest go down. We hold here for four breaths. Breathe in. And uh, let's go for three. And uh, feeling lovely sensation here. Let's go two. And just one more. Back again on two all fours. We sit back onto child pose. We're going to move our palms together. I love this position because it can stretch as well our triceps. And we move our hands behind the head. Keep pushing the way backwards onto your heels to extend your thighs and your back. We hold here for four breaths. Breathe in. And out. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. We're back again on two all fours. Raise your torso. We can curl the toes under. We lift our torso. Move our hands behind. We're going to strain a little bit our thighs. Again, remember, with the flexibility and the stretch are fantastic, but as well, we have to do some strain to give a balance to our body and to protect our joints. So here, move your hands behind without arching. Try to don't arch as a camel. We're just going to lean backwards as far as we feel the tension in your thighs. We hold here four breaths if it's possible. Let's go four. Keep your tummy in. And let's go for three. And 
and two, press your toes on the ground. And just one more. If it's really strong here, it's going to be good to protect our knees. Back to center, we're going to step forward with the right foot, drop our hands. We're going to lift the back leg. You can keep your palms or your fists. And we stretch here in low lunge. Let's hold for four. Keep your knee above your ankle, everybody, and your big toes pressing the ground to give you stability to your knee. Let's go for two more breaths. Breathe in. And out. Just one more. And out. Fantastic. We're going to drop the foot. Mm -hmm. We're going to bend the back leg and catch our foot in case that this position doesn't feel good for your knee. Just give me your foot on the ground. Okay, and we're just going to turn to us to the side. Just like that. You can keep your arm behind your back to help it to open more your chest. If it's good for you, you catch your foot or a towel and we just push the leg gently to stretch our thighs. We hold for four. Breathe in. Anna, let's go for three. Anna, be careful with your knee. Make sure that you don't have discomfort in your knee. Just one more breath in. And oh, it feels great. Drop your foot, everybody. Curl the toes under at the back foot. We're going to lift the back knee. And very gently, we're going to extend the leg at the front. As far as you can go, it can be just tiny. Make sure that you don't feel pain when you are stretching. You can keep your palms or your feet on the ground. Push the hips backwards to extend the front leg. And we're going to hold here only four breaths. Breathe in. And uh, let's go for the three. And two. And just one more. Fantastic, everybody. Bend the front knee, drop the back leg. We're going to step backwards, back again onto our knees. Keep the toes curled under, and we're going to reach backwards without arching your back. It's just leaning to feel the tension and the strain in the thighs. Let's hold for four. And three. I know it's hard, but just hold there. It's going to be good for your knees. Let's go for two. Wow. Just one more. <laughs> And let's go back again onto the ground, your hands. We're going to step forward with the left foot. We're going to repeat all in the left. Slide the right knee as much as you can, knee above your ankle. Press with your big toe to don't let the knee push on the side. You can keep your fists or your palms on the ground. Lift the back knee. We hold for four, elongating your spine. Keep your tummy in. Let's go for three. And two. Just one more. It feels good. Now from here, we're going to drop the back knee. We're gonna, you can drop your hand or keep your fist. Bend the leg. Remember, no pain on your knee. You can catch your foot if it's good. If not, keep the foot on the ground and just turn and move your arm behind your back. So let's hold here. You're holding your foot with the opposite hand if it's possible. And we just turn. Let's hold for four. And three. And two. As far as you don't feel pain, be careful with your knee. Only one breath. Breathe in. And now gently drop your foot. Now here, curl the toes on their back foot. You can keep your fingertips on the ground. Me, I prefer or the fist on the pulse. We're going to lift the back knee. We're going to rock in backwards with our hips, extend the front leg as far as good for us. And we just hold here for four and three, two. Feels good. Just one more. Oh, great, everybody. Bend the front knee. Remember that we stretch as far as it feels good for our body. Now from here back again onto all fours. Curl the toes under. Let's go into down dog and push your tailbone upwards and backwards. We're going to breathe in. Lift the heels by curling your toes under. You can bend slightly your knees and exhale, release down. Let's go for three and down. Let's go two and down. Only one more, and down. Now we're going to 
engage our tummy, release the weight of the hands, and we walk backwards. We move the heels on the floor, breathe in to prepare. We can bend the knees, breathe out, roll up the spine. Great. And we roll our shoulders backwards. We're going to move here onto the feet parallel standing pose. We're going to open our toes to the corners. We're going to squat as far as we keep the knees backwards. Make sure that you don't lean forward. Keep your shoulders above your hands and push your thighs backwards. We're going to move the arms prayer position and we lift the tummy, stretch our tummy. Make sure that you keep your shoulders above your hips. Let's go for four. Let's go for three, stretching, reaching, and let's go two, and just one more. Release, move your hands to the middle of the chest, lift the right heel, and we're going to shift away on the left foot, pull up your tummy, and we're going to release the foot just beside your calf muscle. We're going to pull up the tummy, push the foot to help us to find stability. Let's hold for three more breaths. If you feel good, move your arms up. It's kind of three pose, but we keep it low and both legs are externally rotate. Let's go for two. And just one more. Woo! If we go to the lose the balance, it's okay. It's just a game to find our balance. Now we shift the weight onto the right foot. Move the foot beside your calf muscle. Pull up your tummy, push your foot down so the tension gives us stability. Arms up if you feel comfy. Push your palms together. We're gonna hold for four. And three. And two, and just one more. Great, everybody, release. Now we're gonna move our feet parallel, a little bit wider than we have our hips. We're gonna move our hands at the back, interlace your fingers, open your chest, breathe in, and breathe out forward bend. Oh, this is good, let the head drop. We hold for four. As far as you don't feel pain, that you just feel nice and stretch. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. Gently drop your hands onto the ground. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Roll up your spine. And we roll our shoulders backwards. It feels really good. As you can see, it was a very simple routine, but we feel fantastic after. You can always repeat the whole routine, just click in the chapter. Let's go onto the ground to give us a little relaxation. So we're gonna breathe in, arms up, breathe out, drop your arms, and we're gonna go a spine roll. Uh, super, we're gonna move the hands slightly forward, step our right and left foot. And from here, we're gonna sit down on the side and we're just gonna completely lie down on our back. Completely relax here, everybody. Close your eyes, open your legs a little bit wider than your hips. Feel the air in and out through your nose. Keep your hands on your tummy. We're gonna take a deep breath, inhaling for four, hold the breath for four, exhale for four, and hold for four, and we're gonna repeat. Just to help us to cool down, forget a little bit all the noisy time, outside, inside. All the things we have to do, all the social events we're having, so we're gonna start, breathe in, one, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four and in, two, three, four and hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four and hold, two, three, four. Give you deep and long breath, concentrate in your body, feel and relax your feet, your legs, 
your hips, your tummy. You can relax your chest, shoulders, your arms, your hands. Scan your back, your spine and your neck. Feel your face and relax your face and your head. Now keeping your hands on your tummy, we're going to rub our hands from the rib cage down onto just below your belly button. And again, rub the hands upward. And we're just going to repeat this sensation and this movement of the hands in the tummy just to help us to relax, to remind us that it's, it's a busy time of the year. Things are changing. A lot some moods coming, different emotions. So this rubbing of the tummy is just to help us to settle ourselves in our emotions, understanding there is going to be some stress, as well happiness and joy, but as well some drama maybe. And that's the way it is. The way, this rubbing of your tummy helps us and reminds us to accept the situations in the way they will be or they, they are. And again, we try to then find who is right or wrong. We just accept the situations in the way they are. And keeping that sensation of rubbing our tummy from the ribs down onto the hip bones or to the lower tummy. They keep us this sensation. And anytime that you feel the distress and the overwhelm is taking over you, then you rub your tummy a couple of times, taking a deep breath. Just to help us to find again our ground and accept the situations in the way they are. Sometimes are positive, sometimes are negative. Let's give it the last rub, everybody. Up and down. And then release your hands. Move your arms overhead. Push your heels away. Move your legs together. Take a deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Bend your legs, lift your feet, hug your legs with your arms, lift the head, squeeze here your tummy, take a deep breath, hands under the knees, rocking backward and forward, and we move on to the sitting pose. How you feel? Good? So for this season, this is my present for you. So anytime that you feel that whew, the situation is getting tough, just take a couple of breaths and just rub your tummy down. Oh, down. A oh. couple of times, you know, <laughs> to bring us again to understanding. And today we're going to do our last three breaths, but we're going to give us a shower and move in our energy. So we're going to breathe in, moving our hands up all the way. And out we push away our hands and drop them. So we're going to breathe in, dragging good things for this Christmas. And breathe out, pushing away all the things we don't need. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. Hands back, great position. Happy Christmas, everybody. Enjoy. And remember, there's going to be always happiness, sadness, anger, understanding, understanding, drama, easy going. But we can choose easy going. Even the storm is above our shoulders. Even there are all the things Ugh, closing us and make us go to that point of explosion. It's still like that we can say like, mm, this is the way things are. And acceptation. And just remember, mm, keep ourselves in that nice um, bubble that will help us to 
don't let our mind get involved in too much things. More in this busy time of the year, that we are all expecting to be super nice, but sometimes situations change. So I wish you the best. Happy Christmas. Eat nicely. Don't force yourself to be right or wrong. Just give a chance as well to enjoy fully this time of the year. Thank you for joining me. My name is Fabi from Sacred Body Studio, and we see you in the next video. Happy Christmas. <music>